Once again, Japan springs into action to make all of your augmented reality dreams come true. ...of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant has pinpointed the source of a radioactive water leak. The water has been escaping from a containment vessel at one of the damaged reactors. This is the first time the exact location of such a leak has been identified. The source is circled in red. The water is dripping from a joint in a pipe coming out of the containment vessel at reactor number three. Tokyo Electric Power Company officials say a remote-controlled camera just outside the vessel recorded the video. They say the water is flowing in a continuous stream about the width of two to four pencils. Utility officials believe the water could have become radioactive after being injected into the vessel to cool melted nuclear fuel. TEPCO is also planning to carry out robotic surveys of the other two reactors. Two other reactors, rather. The operator plans to plug the leaks and fill the vessels with water before removing melted nuclear fuel as part of the decommissioning. Health officials in Japan have been keeping tabs on the people who worked at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant immediately after the accident. But experts are set to recommend a much more extensive study. They'll propose monitoring the workers for the rest of their lives. The experts have drafted a report for Japan's health ministry. They urge the government to keep track of 19,000 workers to see whether they develop cancer or other illnesses. The people worked at the plant after the accident in March 2011 until December that year when the government announced that the reactors had stabilized. The panel says workers whose radiation exposure exceeded a government limit should undergo regular blood tests. Panel chair Toshiteru Okubo says the survey would provide internationally important knowledge about the impact of radiation on health. If we can conduct a precise survey, the results would serve as a guideline for residents of Fukushima Prefecture in the future. A decades-long decommissioning process is underway at the crippled nuclear plant, but many of the workers who clean up Fukushima Daiichi fear they're being forced to work in unsafe conditions. This edition of Nuclear Watch looks at the way they are hired and managed. NHK World's Yoichiro Tateiwa reports. About 4,000 people work at Fukushima Daiichi every day, but only around a quarter of them are employed by its operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company. The majority are contract workers. Tetsuya Hayashi worked there in 2012. I didn't have any contact with TEPCO personnel when I was employed. I don't think any of the workers are directly employed by TEPCO. TEPCO entrusts its prime contractor with providing workers to the plant. Hayashi says in his case there were also five more subcontractors involved. Hayashi was paid $130 a day by the company at the bottom of the chain. He suspects that at least one of the subcontractors only existed on paper. Hayashi has complained to the Labor Commission of the Tokyo Metropolitan Government, claiming the multi-tier contract system is unfair to workers. He says what's more serious is the lack of consideration for workers' safety. Hayashi shot this footage with a hidden camera. He wanted to gather evidence about the situation he and his co-workers faced. The video shows an official of the company that hired him briefing a group of workers. The official is giving them apparently false information about radiation exposure. Radioactive particles are not going to stay in your body. Any type of radioactive particle has a half-life of seven days. So, even if you work in one millisievert of radiation for several days, it will not affect your health. Hayashi says TEPCO should reconsider the way they hire workers. I don't think anybody would want to work under such a system. TEPCO officials say hiring through contractors 
is the most efficient way to recruit thousands of workers, especially since they need a wide range of skills. TEPCO set up a company exclusively tasked with decommissioning the damaged reactors last month. Its president says he wants to improve working conditions. Contractors must change how they treat workers. I want them to be responsible for the workers' education and safety. That's essential. But a U.S. nuclear expert who advises TEPCO says the company should hire more workers directly. He thinks that's a key to ensuring an efficient workforce. I think TEPCO is going to have to build their team. So rather than have a thousand and four thousand, a thousand TEPCO, four thousand workers, you need to integrate that and have a much bigger TEPCO team that owns it, responsible, and that's their mission. He says TEPCO must establish a fair and transparent employment system. Other experts say a shortage of skilled labor may endanger both the decommissioning process and the safety of workers. Yoichiro Tateiwa. It's your radioactive reality. Day number 1,162. Any news? New study reveals death and mutations increase sharply from exposure to Fukushima contamination, especially at low doses. Small levels of cesium may be significantly toxic. They're talking one trillionth of a microgram causes up to 60% mutations in butterflies. And that's in the cesium alone. Smithsonian, quote, in other words, things don't look good for the animals living around Fukushima. Yet they keep forcing people back, pushing people back into these radioactive areas. Go back and live, it's okay, everything's perfectly under control. Don't mind the nosebleeds, they have nothing to do with Fukushima. <sighs> CNN, problem from hell at Fukushima. Tons of highly radioactive liquid pouring out of reactor number two each day. More than just number two, thank you very much. Mysterious explosive bang deep inside. Three areas at bottom may be ruptured. Caroline Kennedy at Plant U.S. will help with the leaks. She brought her 21-year-old son on a three-hour TEPCO tour. Now, if you watch the video of Caroline Kennedy on tour, it seems her visor is the only one where you can't really see her face. So was it really Caroline Kennedy um, touring Fukushima? with that big rad suit on, you can't see her face. But it had a big Kennedy on her suit, right? Uh, we already know the three Coriums have left the building. They are down and in the environment. They can make up these stories all they want. Where's the leak? We don't know. Former official post picks a bloody tissue after daily nosebleed. Quote, you can no longer live in Fukushima. Many suffer due to radiation. Fukushima, Fukushima University professor, impossible to make it so people can live here. It's impossible. Top government spokesman, quote, nosebleeds and nuclear disaster not related. Deny, deny, lie. Medical expert, hundreds ill after Fukushima nuclear plant rubble burned in major Japanese city. That's right, they're putting this nuclear debris into open incinerators and burning it all throughout Japan. Well, that picks up and carries across the ocean. Now doesn't it? The insanity continues. Uh, HBO, genetic passports for major population exposed to nuclear radiation? Question mark. Genetic passports for major population. It has deformed their genes. Sorry, it's a bit of a bummer. Twins attached by organs growing outside body. One-eyed cyclops, babies with giant heads. Uh, they respond to people around them. This is just the beginning, folks. The sad, sad story. Uh, we should have learned at Chernobyl and shut all these down. But, uh, of course, they're pushing for more new plants. Turn them back on. Keep it going.
Bizarre creature turned 50 miles of California coast into graveyard in the summer of 2011. Government biologists die off like this, never seen here. Uh, carcasses of starfish and all kinds of other fish down on the bottom. Experts find alterations in 30 genes, some unknown to science. Suddenly proliferating, killing wildlife. Now this is that algae I was telling you about. Um, we wonder how many generations have passed since 2011. Um, the one that excretes this toxin into the water, killing everything. Again, we're just getting started, folks. Japan mother may be jailed for tweet critical of nuclear lobbyist. Fukushima police travel 1,000 miles to interrogate her, examine her computer. We only go outside prefecture for potentially dangerous criminal. They traveled a thousand miles for a tweet. She's that dangerous. We're just getting started, folks. Press conference by former official. I'm bleeding from the nose every day. Many in Fukushima have similar symptoms. Uh, here's one from WIP. Kitty litter blamed for explosive nuclear leak at WIP. Incredibly important to act quickly. All these drums are at risk, including at other sites. Must be gathered right away before they also burst. Summer heat will increase instability. Storage rooms must be sealed off to contain future events. Now they pack all this nuclear waste, rags, whatever, in 55 gallon drums and they, they pack it with kitty litter. Well, they were using clay kitty litter before, but they switched to an organic kitty litter, uh, corn and soy, whatever, um, base, and that had a chemical reaction causing fires and all kinds of other silly things um, that they're talking about right now. Um, they, they have to redo all of this, but that other organic kitty litter's already exposed, and it will be for millions and millions of years. So, what do you do? The insanity continues and they just keep coming up and you know you notice now that there's no mention of collapse that huge burst that busted through all the filters you know oh no it's just a couple of drums on fire don't worry folks the whole thing didn't collapse uh, professor concerns Fukushima is impacting Alaska unusual animals showing up dead seals with unknown disease First cases of avian cholera. Uh, the NOAA, rare whale beachings in Alaska under investigation. What are they running from? Japan paper, mysterious sea creature found one after another along the coast. But don't worry, folks. The food's safe, right? Where do they think they catch a lot of this fish off the coast of Alaska? Japan Times Fukushima fallout in North America at, oh my god, uh, four, and there's 14 zeros behind it, Becquerels of Cesium-137, hazardous in a, con in a continental scale, cancer, a certainty if radioactive particle ingested, CBS, trying to cover the tracks, this is bullshit, inaccurate, internet reports, stoked fear radiation had somehow come our way. They're saying, don't worry folks, there's nothing to worry about. Yet they keep finding ever bigger and bigger and bigger amounts of this radioactive material farther and farther away. Whip nuclear site may be closed for several years. Explosion and multiple drums suspected. Very much a case for concern, and again, this is about the kitty litter, blah, blah, blah. Top official gives fiery speech calling for public to be told what has happened. DOE refuses to name source of nuclear waste. Well, that's just a big top secret secret now, isn't it? Expert, there's just very few of the birds left in the high contamination from the Fukushima plants. Quote, things are not looking good. Spider webs look strange. Animals response to radiation over twice as bad as Chernobyl. Implies effects are stronger in Fukushima. Well, of course they're stronger. 
these reactors were, what, 15 times bigger than Chernobyl? 100% meltdown and not 30? Not to count four spent fuel pools. Yeah, Chernobyl. Nothing on Fukushima, and we're just getting started. Finally, over 50 dead seals and sea lions, whales, walruses recently stranded in Alaska. So again, with these deaths, big mystery. Dozens of seals suffering from baldness, skin sores. Experts quote marine transported Fukushima radiation many represent, may represent a new stressor to the ecosystem. <laughs> yeah, I think with everything pouring out of Fukushima, every second of every day would add a little stress to the ecosystem. Not to mention the whole planet. Well, that's about all I got for you today. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your comments or video below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks. Oh yeah, go on. Click the subscribe button. Uh, we need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the remix button, hit the remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad. This two and a half minute long session of immersion therapy is finally complete. Your crippling fear of watching video news recaps should no longer be a problem.